to see, you know, a cooling tower uses more than, you know, a thousand toilets of water. And if you can, if you can save just 10% of that, that's a substantial amount. Um, and I think if you look back, they were using certain types of chemicals that they don't use anymore, and I think that's continuing to change. But we, we, we're green in that we, we work to conserve our water supplies out there. We, we realize that, that, that water is more and more of a scarce resource. And the things we do in this industry, number one, helps our clients conserve water. Number two, helps our clients recycle water so they, they use less water, impact the, the environment less. And we still have to add chemistry to water to um, prevent it from scaling, to prevent it from corrosion, to pre prevent unwanted microbiological gro growth from happening. But the, there, there is industry, there, there are companies out there working to see how can we make these chemistries greener, how can we make these, these chemistries have less of a permanent impact or no permanent impact up, upon the environment. I live in Texas. The drought has really had an impact on our on our communities and you realize that water is really a precious resource and we all in this industry we do what we can to conserve water. As I say that I'm saving the earth one water system at a time and uh, you know that of course uh, initiates a conversation about what it is we really do and so um, you know with the green initiatives and the lead and all of those things uh, you know when I have an opportunity to talk about that I say hey we were way in advance of all of those initiatives. We've been trying to worry about you know, energy efficiency, fuel conservation, water conservation, all of those things since the inception of the water treatment industry. That is what we do and the rest of the world is now catching up.